Kurt Waldemar Tank, February 24, 1898 to June 5, 1983, was a German aeronautical engineer and test pilot who led the design department at Focke-Wulf from 1931 to 1945. He was responsible for the creation of several important Luftwaffe aircraft of World War II, including the FW-190 fighter aircraft, the Ta-152 fighter interceptor and the FW-200 Condor airliner. After the war, Tank spent two decades designing aircraft abroad, working first in Argentina and then in India, before returning to Germany in the late 1960s to work as a consultant for Messerschmitt Bokablom, MBB. Tank was born in Bromberg, Bidposch, province of Posen. His grandfather was a cavalry sergeant in the Uhlans and his father, Willy Tank, was a grenadier sergeant in the 3rd Division. When World War I broke out Tank wished to join the Deutsches Heer's then named Fliegertrupp Air Service, but his father insisted he instead follow the family tradition and enlist in the cavalry. He ended the war as a captain, with many decorations for bravery. After the war, Tank graduated from the Technical University of Berlin in 1923. A mentor from the university secured him his first job, in the design department of Rohrbach Metal Flugzeug GmbH, where he worked on flying boats and assisted in the design of the passenger aircraft, the Ro8 Roland. Tank moved to the firm Albatros Flugzeug work, where he worked as a test pilot. The Albatros company went bankrupt in 1929 and in 1931, under government pressure, was merged with Focke Wolf. Tank then started work on the design of the FW-44 Stieblitz, Goldfinch, a two-seat civilian biplane. It was Focke Wolf's first commercially successful design, launched in 1934. This led to burgeoning growth for the company as Hitler began to prepare the country for war. Ludwig Roslias, chairman and 46% majority shareholder of Focke Wolf via Coffee HAG, and Barbara Gett, his closest confidant, met with Kurt Tank and the Marcus Ali, Bremen on many occasions. Barbara declared Focke Wolf to be a war determining enterprise. In 1936, Tank designed the Focke Wolf FW 200 Condor to a Deutsche Lufthansa specification. The first flight was in July 1937 after just under one year of development with Tank at the controls. The Condor made a famous non-stop flight from Berlin to New York City in 1938, proving the concept of transatlantic air travel. The Condor would later be used as a maritime patrol bomber aircraft of some repute during the war. The FW-190 Werger, Trike, first flying in 1939 and produced from 1941 to 1945, was a mainstay Luftwaffe a single-seat fighter during World War II, and tanks most produced, over 20,000, and famous design. In January 1943, he was named honorary professor with a chair at the Technical University of Braunschweig, in recognition of his work developing aircraft. In 1944, the Reichsluftfahrtministerium, German Air Ministry, decided that new fighter aircraft designations must include the chief designer's name. Kurt Tank's new designs were therefore given the prefix top. His most notable late war design was the Ta 152, a continuation of the FW 190 design. After the war, Tank negotiated with the United Kingdom, the nationalist government of China, and representatives of the Soviet Union. When the negotiations proved unsuccessful, he accepted an offer from Argentina to work at its Aerotechnical Institute, the Instituto Aerotecnico in Córdoba under the name of Pedro Mathies. The British government decided not to offer him a contract on the grounds that they could not see how he could be integrated into a research project or design group. Now he moved to Córdoba in late 1946 with many of his Focke Wolf co-workers. One of these was Ronald Richter, who intended to power airplanes with nuclear energy, to be developed in the Humal project, which was later proven to be a fraud according to some. The Instituto Aerotecnico later became Argentina's military aeroplane factory, the Fabrica Militiva de Avions. There, he designed the IAE Pulki II based on the Focke Wolf Dow 183 design that had reached mock-up stage by the end of the war. It was a state-of-the-art design for its day but the project was cancelled after the fall of Perón in 1955. When President Juan Perón fell from power, the ex Focke Wolf team dispersed, with many, including Tank, moving to India. First he worked as director of the Madras Institute of Technology, where one of his students was Abdul Kalam, later president of India. He designed an indigenous satellite launch vehicle, SLV, and worked for the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. Tank later joined him to Stan Aeronautics, where he designed the Hindustan Marat fighter bomber, the first military aircraft constructed in India. The first prototype flew in 1961, 
and the Marat was retired from active service in 1985. Tank left Hindustan Aeronautics in 1967 and by the 1970s had returned to live in Berlin, basing himself in Germany for the rest of his life. He worked as a consultant for MBB. He died in Munich in 1983.